if you serve in any type of leadership position, if you achieve almost any type of prominence, if you have a position of power or authority in almost any capacity, I mean, this, this could be in a very small little group, a small organization. Maybe you're a big fish, but it's a small, tiny little pond. There is something that happens in your thinking. It's the, <laughs> this, I'm telling you, this happens to human beings, to all of us. This would be true for almost anyone. Maybe there's an exception here and there. Almost anyone in a position of leadership, uh, of, of prominence, power, authority, it's almost inevitable that you begin thinking this way. <laughs> Ready? Here it is. Here's what happens. You start thinking like this. Certain rules don't apply to me. You know, the, the rules, they're, they're good rules, they're nice rules, but, but they're for the other folks. They're the, the, that's for the lower folks. They're not for me. After all, I'm, I'm fill in the blank, you know, whatever the, <laughs> whatever the title, the position, whatever the label might be. The rules don't, I'm special, they don't apply to me. I'm at the top, right? I'm at the top. The rules, that's for the people down there. I'm telling you, this happens. You know, you've seen this. This kind of thinking is one of the reasons, it's probably not the only reason, but it's one of the reasons why so many of us leaders really wind up being poor leaders. See, we think leaders, we want leadership to mean this. We think leadership means this. We hope leadership means this. Wow, man, aren't I something special? Whew, I'll tell you. When we're supposed to think this, I'm here to serve. If you're a Christian, especially if you're a Christian leader, one of the main clues for us ought to be when we recall that Jesus said, the, the, the most supreme leader who's ever set foot on planet Earth, when Jesus said, this is in Matthew chapter 20, he said, the Son of Man, he was referring to himself, the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve, and, and, and to give his life as a ransom for many. Yeah, yeah. See, to be honest, authentic, godly leadership Really, it, it calls for a form of humility that most of us leaders, or at least a lot of us leaders, don't have. And a lot of us don't even desire it. <laughs> Just being honest with you. Uh, it would be such a good, it would be such a wonderful, helpful thing for our world if God brought forth some genuine servant leaders.